Okay, Coach Huff, so huge win for the Eagles coming back from a loss earlier near to LaSalle. Right. Coming down the stretch there, though, what's going through your mind? Hightower comes out against the number one guy in the state. What's going through your mind? Uh, we're in every match. You know, it's just, I know it's a cliche, but every match is important. They, they started out really strong, and we came to our meet of our lineup, and every match is important. And we stress that to the kids. Let's go match is important, not giving up bonus points. Shame is pinning the guy. Um, Try to be competitive every match. You got guys, you know, you, you look at those two tough matches at 45 and 52, and Donian and Dover got the, the, the Herd brothers, right. and they're both wars. Yeah. What do you want the guys to get out of matches like that here? And then, you know, those could be, those are stage matches on Saturday night in the shot right. scene. What do you want them to get out of those matches? Well, you got to score more points at 52, and at 45, you got to wrestle more con uh, conventionally. You can't go out there and try to pin the guy, and you got you to gotta wrestle and score points. Once you score points and build your lead, then you can start trying to pin the guy. Uh, but like you said, they're both very good wrestlers, and we just got to continue to uh, do the things to do to win. Looking at replacing Coach Urbis, one of the all-time greats in the sport in the country. Um, you're the guy who's done all the training, all the guys I wrestled with in college, Namath, Tolar, Orski, Kinley. You're the guy they talk about who does all the training, runs everything, builds all the athletes. Now you're finally the head coach in name. What's it like being the head coach and not just the guy who does all the training still? Uh, it's not much different. You know, I, you're never, I'm never going to replace Coach Irvis. Coach Irvis is still at school every day. He still does the same things he's always done. I'll never replace him. Uh, I do rely on my assistant coaches. I think I have really, a really good coaching staff with Coach Seiko and Kozicki and Gonzer and Brian Fair and James and all these other guys. I think we have a really good coaching staff. So uh, I'm lucky in that aspect that, you know, they've all wrestled for me. They've all wrestled in college. They've all know we're on the same page. We're all in for the same goals. And uh, the kids all appreciate what we're doing for them. Looking at the you know the, the first family of wrestling for me, the Milkoviches and then the Heffernans in the state of Ohio, obviously you got the Jordans, but right. your family is St. Edward Wrestling. Your brother Brian's the first state champ in the history of the school. You, your brother Jim, John, the whole the whole Heffernan yeah, crew, right. man, you guys have done it, but you are St. Edward, Edward Wrestling. Could we see Colin come back? Could we see what, what's going on with the Heffernan name and, and yeah. St. Edward Wrestling? Well, Colin's going to do his own thing. He's doing his thing at Ohio U, and I think he's doing a pretty good job there, and I think he's a really good coach, and I think he's going to be a really good coach, whatever he decides to do. I'm just kind of taking this, uh, you know, when I wrestled, Coach Ferguson gave me a lot of opportunities. I wrestled for Coach Gable. And I always knew I kind of wanted to wrestle, so I kind of picked his brain, and I picked C Coach Ferguson's brain a little bit, and Coach Urbis, and I've been lucky with that aspect. I just kind of, kind of want to give kids at St. Ed the same opportunity I had, try to give them the same uh, training methods, and I'm just kind of really proud of the fact that we've got kids um, doing well in college and continuing to do well after the sport. And we got kids coaching all over the country and doing different things. And that's the one thing Gabe will always preach is, is if our sport's going to grow, you have to continue to do stuff in the sport, and I preach that to our, to our wrestlers also. I look at your assistant coaches, Kozicki, Seiko, Gonzer. I mean, you got, you know, Guy Seiko, you got Augustino, you got all these yeah, guys yeah. around. They're incredible human beings on top of you know, technicians, they know the sport, they understand promotion, they understand everything about it. How are you guys able to bring people like back like that and they just want to be a part of it? Well, we're lucky. It's, you know, they're all St. Ed's people. They're all St. Ed's guys. They all want to, basically the same reason I'm back there. They want to give them the same opportunity that they had in high school. You know, it means a lot for St. Ed's guys to go to St. Ed's, graduate, go on to college and come back to give to St. Ed's. You know, you see these guys in college wrestling, you know, uh, you know, Ben Chance and Joseph, for example, wears a St. Ed's wrestling sweatshirt. These, all these guys got St. Ed's wrestling stuff. And when they come to do clinics, they all want St. Ed's gear. It means, means you know, for our guys to go out and, and they warm up and St. Ed's, that name's big. And these guys, uh, it, it's really about what the kids are doing to keep it going. Okay, the streak uh, for All-Americans, College All-Americans, Avenator kept it alive. Um, right. There's a couple guys who can do it this year, but it might be, you know, it might not be as strong of a possibility as right. it's been in the, half, in, in the past. What's that say about your program, that streak? That's what's pretty good about developing kids, I hope. You know, we've had a lot of good, you know, we're lucky we've had a lot of good families, a lot of good kids, a lot of, you know, a lot of brothers and stuff like that. But uh, I do think uh, part of the thing, when I, everything I, when I coach, I always talk about kids not getting burned out in the sport, kids wanting to keep continue to uh, do well in the sport. Uh, at the next level, we always talk about th what works at the next level. Some things might work at this level, but not at the next level, so we always train for the next level. And we're always talking about that in practice. How much longer can you do this? I know you're not a one and done guy, but how much longer before we transition one of those young pups into the to the role of what you're doing and how much longer? I don't know, it's my first year. Everyone's asking me who the next coach is gonna be. I don't know if that's a good or bad thing, so I don't know. It's, yeah, but like as long as I still uh, you know 
as long as I still like it, I don't wrestle nearly as much as I used to. And that's one thing that it really gets to me is that I, you know, I think I was a better coach and I wrestle a lot more, but I can't, body-wise, I can't do it. Uh, I still think that, you know, I enjoy it, so as long as I enjoy it. I still have six or seven years left in the fire department, so as long as I continue to work with the fire department, I'll continue to do this. I think when I'm done with the fire department, I'll probably be done with everything and just kind of sit around and do whatever. So we're going to go with six or seven years. That's what I just got out of that yeah, answer. Maybe. You're we'll not a long-winded guy at all, yeah, but yeah. I got six or seven years out of that. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah, I was going to say, how many more years with the fire department? Is it six yeah, or seven? Yeah, I, I, seven max. How many are you into it now? Oh, 26. So 26. You're going to go, you only got to go 25, don't you? Uh, yeah, but then there's basically 33 years what I'm going to do. So you're going to do 33. We're going to see you six or seven years. I'm yeah. excited. All right, Coach, I know you guys got to travel back to, to Lakewood tonight. You got anything else for me? No, thanks a lot. And it was a great event today, and we got our work cut out for it in a couple weeks. So. All right, thanks. I appreciate the time. We'll see you at the shot. Thanks, Jeff.